How's it going, guys? So welcome back to Diablo 2. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a Frost Nova Hydra Source. So basically another hybrid character. Uh, I looked over some other ones. We'd be the game with the Kickerson. We beat the game with a Rabies Druid, which I just realized it was on hardcore mode. Uh, we beat it with our RP ne uh, Necromancer, and we beat it with... Uh, the hell was the other champ? Oh, our hybrid uh, Jav Boson. So this is going to be another hybrid character. So we're going to be using Frost Nova. Uh, let's just go through the skill tree here. It'll be on the bar side the way I have Diablo 2 set up because of OBS. So we're going to be using Frost Nova. So we're going to be maxing out that maxing that out. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to get fro uh, Frozen Armor. And then we're not going to be bothering with any of this except for getting teleports and static field. And then we're going to get warmth. And then we're going to get fireball and firebolt as usual. And then we're going to be getting Hydra. So we're going to make our way through all this. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, I looked over each of the characters. We beat, a, beat each of the game around like uh, level 30 ish. So, um, you know, put it to a vote and people wanted Diablo 2. So we're getting more Diablo 2 in. And uh, we're supposed to be getting a snowstorm coming in here. So you guys may or may not see this tomorrow depending on whether or not if I have power so and, uh, of course it's one of those late snowstorms coming in so can't really be helped and of course I'll always will add non copyright music and stuff like that too uh, but as stat wise uh, it really depends because if you're gonna go like a spirit build which you can't make ladder road words on single player unless you have a mod so spirit is pretty much useless uh usually most sorcerers characters or players or whatever will actually put a few points into uh dexterity just to get that max block or something like that when there's teleport around and help difficulty which we never go past normal anyways uh put as many points into strength as you need enchantment or energy wise depends if you're planning to make a um what's it mana orb or whatever the hell it's called energy shield uh so it basically takes out your mana does so it doesn't take out your health uh i almost n never use that because especially with undead stitching dolls they'll just zap your mana and then you pretty much try to teleport and you're instantly dead so it's usually not worth it and basically just dump the rest of your points into your health so but with having static field that's going to come in a lot of pretty handy against uh like Duriel and diablo and stuff like that so as long as you can keep my mer as long as I keep my mercenary alive, I mean we're pretty much good. So, and as usual, I'll keep these videos running like 20 minutes. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, speaking of mana, <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. But uh, so this will be uh, basically our new uh, walkthrough, and uh, <sighs> try to get people into playing Diablo 2 and stuff like that. You know. Got a bunch of friends who have Diablo 2 that just have the regular version of Diablo 2. They don't have LOD. It's like, get LOD. <laughs> uh, and normally I would play this on um, Battle.net, but it's just like, if my internet's down, something like that, you know, then if I gotta get a video out, I'm not gonna have any way of doing it, so, you know, just stick to single player. Uh, let me see, we're not getting this until level 6, so let's get the armor. and been getting some videos made and then restarted up Dragon's Dogma or not Dragon's Dogma excuse me uh, Dragon Age Inquisition and it's like my 10th playthrough of that guy <laughs> not all at once <laughs> over the expanded period of time the stuff owned the goddamn game down to like my last two like storylines of uh, Dorian and Solus and I hear Solus is like the hardest one to accomplish but we shall prevail. And I apologize if you hear any like wind or any cars driving by. I'm pretty sure we can make a uh, leaf. I'm pretty sure that's not a ladder road word. And then of course I think it's like tier ral or ral tier one or two. I can never get it right. 
but it's made for a fire sorceress, but non-fire sorceress uh, people will use it too. Because it gives you like one to fire skills, but it gives you a bunch of other enchantment stuff onto it. care of you boys right now oh everyone's welcoming me back that's so nice of you guys throw me a big old party of everyone here <laughs> oh and uh while i'm thinking about it real quick while these little turds are hitting me one moment as i knock out these enemies to get to my thing i'm trying to talk about here uh, big shout out to Rathanon for continuously retweeting my uh, videos on Twitter and stuff. Ooh, um, Twitter and stuff like that. And big shout out to uh, Knock for uh, plugging in my YouTube channel in his Twitch chat. So I'll make sure I definitely put their Twitch uh, links in the description below. Go check them out. Uh, Right now, Rathanon is doing Hogwarts Legacy, which is the big thing so far on the gaming platform community, which it's got mixed reviews. You know, it's a Hogwarts game, and like the last Hogwarts game that came out that I, that I ever owned was on the Game Boy Advance, <laughs> and that was the Sorcerer's Stone. So it's like, it's been a long time since they've come out with a Hogwarts game. And uh, my boy Nock is uh, doing his own playthrough, or walkthrough of uh, Quake 4 so. so if you like mixed like variety games go check out Rathanon if you like you know mixed variety games with a little retro <coughs> go check out uh, Knock right, so build it up. Uh, let's see here. recommend that you always get to at least put a few points into fireball because once you start getting up to run Act 4, and I've always explained this, uh, enemies start becoming more highly resistant to fire, especially with the Venom Lords and um, uh, Doom Knights and stuff like that, because uh, even on <clears throat> even on normal difficulty, if you look at hell difficulties, once with enemies that are immune to fire or immune to cold, and you actually reach that difficult, uh, reach that level, even in normal difficulty, you can see that those enemies are starting to become more resistant to that element. So if you ever get to hell difficulty, you know, make sure you uh, kind of study which acts are immune to what, so you know when you start playing a normal difficulty, what to try to counter it with. But, uh, yeah, put a few points in there for Fireball because it's going to help against Endorial. Uh, that's where the Frost Nova is going to come in because that's what's really going to slow him down. Frost Nova is more for CC than anything else. You know, it's made to just slow him down so that you can just pummel him away. But because we're going to be using Hydra, you know, we'll have that range. And if anyone tries to get up close, we have Frost Nova to basically stall him out. And it'll help out our Mercenary a lot, too. And as usual, you know, apologize if you hear my continuously mouse clicking on my mouse, but can't be helped. <laughs> Becoming a real un goddamn. You have a goddamn zombie shield. No wonder he wasn't hitting you. Little turd. <coughs> goddamn. Ooh, apologize. Get something to drink, and my voice is still raspberry as well. <laughs> goddamn annoying. Get that shield on there. Do you have any more mana pots? No, we do not. This is. Frozen armor. Definitely. <coughs> God damn. I might have to pause this video and get some water here. Holy crap. So now let me get my goddamn commentary in. I do apologize. As usual, pick up with the gold. Um, as I have always known of all my Diablo 2 characters, I will actually be grinding off screen, but I will not uh, go any further to like uh, boss fights and crap like that. So it's like. Uh, you won't get a video where I'm just like melee jumping. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I killed Blood Raven, but I did it off screen. No, you know, I pretty much grind as best as possible I can on here, and then you know, we're pretty much set, right? Because you're playing on single player, and you won't have access to a lot of rune words. 
grindy into something you definitely need to do. <laughs> but because we have, we're have we playing the Sorceress, Teleport is going to save us a lot of time. You may, may, be, may be even our fastest um, uh, playthrough. And, uh, eh, of course you never know, man. Started up a new TV show that the, uh, the fam recommended. It's actually pretty good so far. It's called The Librarians. If you've never actually heard of it or never actually watched it, I can recommend it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, that shit off. Never care anymore. You think they would have an auto organization in there. Ooh, charge with Lithros member. That's not bad. Too bad we're not using the lightning. Well, in a sense. Alright, cool. This cave has been purged of evil. Yeah, maybe purged of evil, but we're gonna go over here and get that waypoint. And eventually, <coughs> and eventually what I'll end up doing is, uh, I will eventually start up a uh, battle net, uh, like Sorceress or Hammer Dead or something like that, and, uh, <clears throat> god damn, do, uh, like, magic fight runs and crap like that. I know Mr. Llama does it, he's like one of the most popular uh, Diablo 2 players on YouTube, besides him and uh, Dabrunsky. Always pick up these potions. You know, it may seem like, oh, let's just take it on my own, but trust me, they give you quite a bit of gold. Yeah. The one ring we get to is a pile of crap. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm usually going to do 3 2. Really not going to need that much health in the beginning, just strictly because you're going to be fighting on long range, anyways. But, uh, because you get a long range mercenary, yeah. Does help point like mix it up a bit so yeah. Uh we got about what nine minutes left if my time is correct. So, if not then we just go over a bit because I don't care. <laughs> what I need is some good gear here, Jersey. <coughs> yeah. Dexterity. Don't really need any of this crap. Nine versus a fire resistance. That's not bad. Hmm. Not worth a thousand gold, though. <coughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely get some water next time before I start streaming in. Or recording. Get something to drink, and it's just like my voice is completely shot. <laughs> Ah, the, the group. You gotta, <clears throat> you gotta birth in that mana real quick, though, but, uh, of course he'd be here. If you can get something like Stealth, which will come in really handy, which is a Tal Eth, <coughs> Tal Ethron. Ooh, you hit pretty hard. Alright, we're gonna have to drag a few boys away here, because, uh, I'm not gonna try to get whacked. Usually, if you dra drag them, fall on top screen, something like that, uh, the shamans only have a certain amount of range to resurrect them. And since our boy over here is immune to fire, it doesn't help us out. And he does have the ability to actually resurrect the other uh, shamans around here. Yeah, you never have enough mana. Which is a problem with playing a goddamn magic character. <laughs> you never have enough mana. 
What you need is a foot in the ass. You keep telling me you don't have enough mana. <laughs> yeah, I'm a rocket issue too. I'm gonna go after that little blue bastard too. <clears throat> God damn, you boys are just like throwing a bonfire over here. What the hell? No, let's not get trapped in the burning building, thanks. Alright, you know, oh, we got mana. Usually this type of problem, I highly recommend you just buy a bow. Uh, you should have enough dexterity to do it, to use a bow, because it's even a simple short bow. It'll save you on having to use your mana up and crap. So you know what, we're going to do that right now, because we're not going to have enough mana for this crap, and I'm not going to have the time to continuously go to the store and buy potions, so... Do, 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 do. Oh! Three socket? Charcy, you spoil me. Alright, let's load up on potions and then uh, we'll use this crap when we need to. In like, what, four minutes, five minutes left somewhere there? What the hell was I getting? Oh, I got potions. Four. Oh, yeah. Gotta definitely gotta pick up warmth. That would be some of the points. Uh, let's see. We don't need to get this until it's six. But technically, you can go a little further. You don't have to get it immediately at level six because uh, you're not gonna be taking on Dar to like level 12 anyway. So. so make sure as long as you get it. And let's go keep this guy in. Oh, falling ass over here. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice to have right off the bat with all these goddamn enemies. That's just kind of like a, a big slap in the goddamn face. Here's 50 enemies, but the XP shrine's all the way down here. It's like... Uh, you gotta love the guiding game. Yeah, well, that little blue bastard's gonna die too, so. I would love to try to play this game, game with an Xbox controller. It'd be so interesting to shoot. Damn, you guys are just resilient to this shit. Spear women are just ridiculous. Like, arrow absorbing that crap. Congratulating beasts are just straight annoying. Two, so, two hits for you guys, and it's like. <sighs> like, three or four hits for Dark Spear Women? Hmm. Leave comments below. What do you think our first gem drop is gonna be? Two, three, one, two, three, four. Four hits for a Dark Spear Woman. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna load up on the arrows because we're gonna need them. And four hits for Gargantra Beast. I think we need like three minutes left, I think. If I timed it right. Okay, burial grounds. Um, I'm not gonna be fighting Indariel, or Indariel, we're gonna fight Indariel for a while. Uh, not gonna be fighting Blood Raven in this video, but we'll make sure we do a nice one. And I will definitely try to post these videos when I can because of the whole snowstorm rolling in. So, you know, like I always say, it depends on my power. Skill tree, we don't need. That's one thing I can actually say I'm glad that's not, if I remember correctly, is not in Diablo 3. It's having a goddamn stamina bar. Free roam, non stamina is so goddamn nice. I mean, I, don't be wrong, I love Diablo 2, but 
the slow ass walk, especially the beginning of the guiding game is so annoying. So basically we're just going to be grinding. And if you haven't checked it out either, uh, go check out my two Among Us videos. Um, this is going to be our main walkthrough, but I might add Among Us into there too because my first video of Among Us actually hit surprisingly quite well. So, uh, I don't know. I might try to stake in like Among Us in like a Monday or a Friday or some crap like that. Just so that I also don't get burnt out on Diablo 2. Because yeah. I do a, a lot of grinding, so it's like... Then I get up to the having to do like the video recording, it's like, Ugh, do I really want to get a recording in today? You know, this certain game or whatever, you know. You don't you never want to burn yourself out on making videos and stuff like that, so... Always mix it up a bit, so... Uh, I might do like... Among Us Monday or some crap. The only problem with that is, is that the servers have been kind of dead. So, definitely have to see how that goes. Right, you guys are just like asking for an autograph and a fireball in the face. Crude, uh, crude throwing knives or just throwing knives in general and those little potions will give you the most gold usually within the beginning of this area besides like blue items and stuff like that so collect them if you see them all right so we're gonna end we're gonna knock it off here this will be over 20 minutes uh if anyone guessed diamond well that was the first gem drop <laughs> not exactly a good one uh but yeah this is going to be our our main walkthrough so uh like i said uh i'll probably continuously update it but I mean, we might just you know, do Among Us Mondays, and then like Tuesday through Friday, we'll do Diablo. So, just so it saves me not having to get burnout on it, and uh, gives you guys a little entertaining stuff. You don't want to watch a Diablo 2 playthrough, you know, you have like Among Us to watch, you know, some ga some gameplay of that. But that's how it's up. I think I'm gonna go how, how it's gonna go so far, but we'll see. But I hope you guys have been safe, healthy, and sanitized. Make sure to drop a like, think about subscribing, the comments below, and um. Yeah, this will be a, what, fifth Diablo 2 playthrough? So, or walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. Well, it's a playthrough for me, but it'd be a walkthrough for you guys. <laughs> but I'll see you guys around.